violent earthquakes and a roar described by local residents. What is happening at the Phlegraean fields and is the situation now coming to a head faster than we thought possible? In this video, we take a look at the new development and clarify if the eruption is imminent. As always, if you like it, I'm galactically happy to receive a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the algorithm to display this important topic to even more people. Thanks a lot guys and welcome. The supervolcano of the Phlegraean fields has been active for weeks now, and is causing great concern to volcanologists and the inhabitants of Naples and the surrounding area. The basic facts I had explained some time ago already in this video here, if you hear today for the first time of this topic, you get the basics explained in this video. Since then, however, a lot has changed. And I'm already spoiling, the situation has not calmed down, so the situation around the Campi Phlegri has not calmed down, quite the opposite. Recently, Naples was shaken by an earthquake of a magnitude greater than 4 on the Richter scale. That in itself is not dramatic, but it is the strongest earthquake in a long time and the epicenter is right in the supervolcano of the Phlegraean fields, and the local residents are, of course, super worried. After the earthquake, schools remained closed in Pozzuoli, the town that sits directly above the Campi Phlegri. A radio interview with senior volcanologist Gisep Mastro Lorenzo of the International Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology pours more fuel on the fire, or rather, into the magma. He states, the authorities attach great importance to seismic risk, but in the Campi Phlegri seismicity has never been so high. While the real problem is that the current tremors may already be the precursors of the eruption, which could be a super eruption. So now high-ranking volcanologists are already beginning to warn of a drastic eruption of the Campi Phlegri. In the past, such active seismic phases ended in different scenarios. 40,000 years ago there was such a super eruption, as Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo described in the interview. In 1538, on the other hand, earthquakes and smaller eruptions occurred, including the most recent volcanic cone, Monte Nuovo. It is the last of about 50 volcanic craters that formed in the Campi Phlegri. The eruption of 1538 also caused considerable damage in Pozzuoli, of course, but at least there was no continent-wide cold period, as there had been 40,000 years ago, triggered by the volcanic ash that was hurled into the atmosphere. So it is clear that the Campi Phlegri are now becoming more active again. The question is only, are we moving towards a scenario like 40,000 years ago or towards scenario like 1538? Apocalyptic eruption or smaller eruptions? Of course, a middle ground is also conceivable. Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo says, a super eruption could be about 10 times stronger than the eruption of Vesuvius in 79 AD, which destroyed Pompeii. I was there a few weeks ago and found it incredibly fascinating that even today, 2000 years later, you can still feel these enormous forces of the volcano at this place. By the way, Vesuvius was much higher at that time, since the eruption of Pompeii the well-known image of two peaks next to each other has formed, Vesuvius and Mount Soma. By the way, during the eruption at that time not only Pompeii itself was destroyed, but also the cities of Herculaneum, Aplontis and Stabiae, which was about 12 kilometers away, and in the process buried by a layer of ash about 20 meters high. The total death toll in the area is estimated at up to 16,000. In Pompeii, however, contrary to a widespread misconception, one cannot look at the bodies that were actually preserved. They are cavities left by the corpses in the rock, which were then made visible by casts. Of course, it's still incredibly impressive. And if we travel now times from the tragic events of Pompeii again into the present, then one can become already so easily worried. Because today live alone in the Bay of Pozzioli about 350,000 people, in the greater Naples area are almost 3 million. The area is, thus much more densely populated than at that time and an eruption of the Campi Phlegri could be much more violent, than the eruption of the Vesuvius at that time. Of course, evacuation plans exist, but as someone who lives in southern Italy for several months every year, I can say that such bureaucratic things in Italy often work, yes, rather poorly than well. I mean, as we all know, nothing works in Germany these days either, so I certainly don't want to put Germany above Italy here. That's just for the sake of completeness. Anyway, Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo also has big concerns here. He said, 
the assumptions underlying the plans of being able to predict an eruption 72 hours in advance are a very optimistic hypothesis, almost as if we had signed a contract with the volcano. Just one parameter can make any prediction useless. On an Italian news website, I also read through another interview with Carlo Dolioni, president of the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. He is mainly concerned about possible minor steam explosions due to high temperatures in some areas. Hot water would then be released explosively instead of lava. We find temperatures of about 95 degrees in groundwater at a depth of 40 to 50 meters below the surface at Pozzuoli. According to Dolioni, this is a very high temperature situation thermally, and there is also a lot of degassing there. About 3,000 tons of CO2 are released from Campi Flegri every day. In view of this, I will spare myself for the time being any commentary on the meaningfulness of CO2 saved by German heating legislation, but be that as it may, precursors for such explosions are perhaps these strange roaring noises, of which some residents told. You read this more and more in the last days and it is pure speculation now, but I could imagine that this roar is caused by the jerky release of water vapor or volcanic gases. Overall, Carlo Dolioni is also very concerned and concludes by saying, in recent months we have seen seismicity increase, both in terms of the number of events and the proximity of the swarms and the increase in energy. Right now, we don't see an end. It could be that the development will be more disruptive. This is the president of the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, so it's not some run-of-the-mill alarmist. But what can give us a little hope is that the volcanic system around Naples is one of the best observed in the world. And as things stand now, it is absolutely possible that it will not come to the apocalyptic expression, but to the smaller variant. I have decided to fly to Napoli in January to have a look at it on the ground. I'm going to produce a 90-minute documentary for you, talking to experts on the ground and taking original footage of the Campi Flegri. To make sure you don't miss this, be sure to subscribe to my channel now folks. I'm close to 10,000 subscribers and if you subscribe now, you won't miss any more galactic videos. You won't miss this documentary, you'll help me immensely and of course it's absolutely free. How nice it would be if before such a super volcanic eruption you could just turn back time and improve the evacuation plans. Maybe this is possible because more and more astrophysicists say time does not exist at all. Our understanding of time is completely wrong. I made myself once the trouble to dive deeply into the theory of the time and if you want to have time so a correct physical existence crisis, then take your time, funny, and look at yourselves in the indicated video times. It all turned out really, really exciting. As always, if you want to support the channel, feel free to stop by the Astro Shop and treat yourself to the t-shirts from the videos and cute plush planets. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care guys.